Don't forget to check out my Patreon link in the description down below where we do exclusive content for videos that get blocked on YouTube like Level Up Project 1, 2, and 3, Twice Sees the Light, Black Pink House, 80s Treasure Film, Black Pink's documentary. Tons of blocked performances are on there as well and certain tours such as Red Mare, Red Room, Twice Lights, Twice Land, the Black Pink The Show online concert, Shiny World 4, and tons of Knowing Bro episodes and so much more. Link in description down below. Hey guys, Angie here and today we have Bam Bam and yu gi -Oh's album. So yu gi -Oh's isn't too long. Like, I was scared it was going to be like a really thick album, but it is a pretty like average middle album. I think I got all the songs, hopefully. I really hope I did. If I missed any, sorry. Um, I should have every everyone though. And then we're adding all your fault the music video instead of like a lyric video since I'm not gonna react to it separately. I don't have time for all that. Um yeah, looking forward to this. So far, loving the songs. I'm a little late but it's cause I wanna do them together in one video. Uh so that's why I wanted to make sure I had enough time to do the whole thing. Hopefully no interruptions. Let's hop into the video. Laura, hello. Okay. We're doing Bam Bam's first because his is shorter. Oh. oh. Okay, so this is what I expect from Bam Bam. I don't know if he produced a rope. I'm guessing he has some participation with his own album. Because Bam Bam likes these sounds. And it's gonna be like, whoop, or something like that, and then it's gonna be like, drop. But like, there's gonna be some sort of sound effect. a bit of a different drop than I expected. He, because I'm trying to think of the songs he's produced and stuff for Got 7, and this is definitely more like what he did there. Mm. Playground? I don't know if that's a reference, but Got 7 Playground. Oh, he's definitely having more chance to like stand out. Well, obviously he's going to get this song. I just, I feel like some members of groups don't work as a solo artist. You know, like some are meant to be like in a group and some can do both. And some shine a lot more on their own. Bam Bam, of course, need him in GOT7, no doubt about that. But I, he definitely shines more alone. I like, I like this. He shines in the dancing, but I think he shines really like in God Seven. But he shines a lot on his own vocally on his own, like in a, his own album. I'm not too much of a fan of this, but I don't really care because I like all the other parts. And I'm not surprised at myself for not liking because I don't really like these type of things. But it works. And it's bam bam. It, it's expected. <laughs> I think it hurts me more when it's like out of nowhere. And I don't expect it. Oh, this would, been, this would have been a good title track, not gonna lie. I like Ribbon though. I definitely prefer Ribbon over this because it's more my style, but I think this would have been a really cool title track. I don't know if he performed it uh, for his uh, comeback stage or his debut stage. Okay, well, that's, I don't think that's his song. Um, wow. Okay, loved it though. Dang, can't. 
I, I, I can't see the comments because okay whatever um now we have a look so fine we're gonna get a sexy song i bet this is sexy he looks so good with pastel Ooh. oh this could have been a gold title track too maybe already two seconds in Did he write King or did Jackson write King? Regardless, give me that type of vibe of like the cockiness. This reminds me of Oh My Girl. Like the way it's. Oh, this one's my favorite. It's very chill. And personally, I'm not saying he doesn't sound good on the other songs. He sounds actually really good on the other songs. But I personally really like Bam Bam's softer tone and like, he's very playful here. His voice is a little softer, like his more natural talking voice. Um, I think that's where like, I wouldn't love his rapping too much in Gossip 7 because the Gossip 7 has very like, most of the time, very um heavy beats and like harsher sounds especially like in the middle of their era like never ever and stuff like that um and he sounds good there but i prefer him in a smoother track like this like i love it because he's very playful it suits his personality as well it's a little like you know i, I don't know i like i like his voice on this I love it. I wonder, I'm wondering what the, I don't know what Bam Bam's solo stands or even Agassi is like from him. I'm wondering if this is like, I could see this being the most popular song off the album, but I could also see um, Pandora. I don't know about the other ones, we have to hear them, but so far, like, I can see these being like either one, like if people are like me and like him like in this vibe, or if people like him in the darker vibe. I guess that's good too, because he's providing for both. Yeah. Hey. Oh, this is that like anthem of like the mean girl. I love it. This is sharp hay. <laughs> I can see people who don't. Oh, I can see people who don't stand Bam Bam loving this song, like f hearing it and being like, "Ooh, who is this?" Oh, this song's good. I like this song so much. I like sassy songs like this. They're fun, and it's nice and short, sweet to the point. Oh, I love it. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, it's so short, but like, it's so s perfect. It's like, the, oh, I love, I really like that song. That one's really good, Bam Bam. Can I see the comments? Don't be a jerk, let me see the comments. Come on, let me see them. People are trying to get him on Jessie's show, and I think Jessie replied, and she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh, Bam Bam, go on the show. Okay, now air. I feel like this is gonna be like emotional. Oh, I like that picture of him. I can't wait to get my albums. I think they haven't shipped yet, but. Oh, are we getting emotional, Bam Bam? Is he gonna sing? Is he gonna sing? Okay, I feel like I'm coming off as if I was doubting Bam Bam, 
I swear I wasn't, but like, <laughs> in a way, maybe. Like, I'm not like, it's because I didn't know what to expect with him because he's Bam Bam. I did not know what to expect. And we're like, technically maybe like 10 seconds in the song because, you know, there's that empty space in the beginning. And we only have one song left. And every song's been good. Let me make sure. Is this like a really short album? Wait, are we missing one? Are we missing a song? I think we're missing a song. Hey, we're missing songs. Let me, let me see. Um, while I'm looking. So I'm not denying anything of Bam Bam. I always said he's, I like his singing better and I do think he's a better singer, but okay. It's just the uh, intro. I don't care about the intro. We'll hear it while we're talking, but um, I just didn't know what to expect. And then we heard Ribbon and I kind of had an idea what this was going to be. And then we heard Pandora and I'm like, oh, okay, well, never mind. It's going to go that way. And then we heard Look So Fine and now, and now we got Air and I'm like, whoa, we're getting what I wanted, which is like, we have all the different sides of Bam Bam here and I'm here for that. This is a really short album though, it's only 20 minutes. Um, right, let's go back. Let's hear Air. Oh, I wanted this so bad. I wanted his vocals so bad. He kind of sounds like Mark a little. Makes sense as he didn't know English and I'm guessing he learned some from Mark and you kind of pick up when you're when you're learning a language from someone you kind of pick up their speaking habits, how they pronounce certain things and stuff. And then Jackson, of course. Um, his voice is softer, so he's gonna sound more like Mark anyways, because Mark has a softer voice. So he already kind of would sound like Mark more than Jackson. He has a more higher, almost rougher, I don't know how to describe Jackson's voice. His voice is just so different everywhere. But I'm getting Mark vibes also just from the melody and like how it sounds. I'm gonna cry. I'm really proud. I'm so proud of this man. Don't be a little bitch, Angie. <laughs> oh, why am I gonna cry? I'm so proud of Bam Bam, guys. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. I'm telling you, Gossip is not holding anyone back. But I really wish Bam Bam debuted as a solo artist like a year or two ago. Maybe we wouldn't have gotten this though. Okay, if he had help with- if he wrote these lyrics and stuff, I'm also so proud of him. He's like writing stories in a way. I'm so... Who's doing the vocals with him? I thought Under the Sky would be a slow song like this, so I'm curious. to cry you know when you just see talent being like hidden and then but you're also like maybe i'm just really biased towards this person and maybe he's not maybe i just see maybe i'm just biased you know but then they debut and then you're like damn i was right and then you're kind of mad at yourself for once doubting it and then you're just like, wow, I love him. <laughs> that was really good. I just, I just, Bam Bam just, he's that like person that deserves better because he's kind of like Jackson, but Jackson is being more respected as an artist in the past year or so. Like for a while, 
um, before his solo album, album, you know, like we had Papi on and stuff like that, but like before his solo album, you know, but like On the Rocks and um, stuff like that, the, the, those songs, Titanic and all of them, um, he was seen as the funny variety guy. But Jackson gets a lot of respect, especially recently, like in the past year or two. So it's like he had his chance, you know, he really made sure he separated himself you know while still respecting being in a group you know we, we stand that like not necessarily denying got seven or anything i'm kind of mad though at some fans who are like don't mention got seven when jackson's around stuff it's kind of like what do you mean like jackson would not approve of that i'm pretty sure he would be totally fine with got seven being mentioned it's just you know he is a solo artist so but like it's i feel like some fans are trying to like be like mm, I'm not got seven and I'm not here for that we don't do that here um but bam bam I feel like even right now I hope this is a turning point he's kind of seen as immature loud and goofy and like he is totally all those things like I love him he's all those things but an immature in a good way not like not like a uh, ignorant stuff um but he's he's more and even I didn't process this and i'm just really happy for him because like i always um defend him like in the sense of like he deserves respect as a human and he's allowed to be sad he's allowed to like take his serious interview seriously um respect his journey respect how hard he was struggling in the first couple years you know um respect his friendship with lisa respect him on his own like Jackson you know like so I've always been here for that but I'm just really proud of like how far he's come and I'm actually I think this is actually a good time for him to debut as a solo artist because I'm trying to think of like if he debuted a year ago I don't think it would have been like this so maybe it's for the best though I do wish if he debuted earlier he probably would have been seen and respected more um obviously Agassi is know this about him but many people know bam bam kind of like with jackson where like they're the two members that you know of the group um before the other members but they're always seen as just goofy and stuff so this might be a ballad oh i saw the length of the song and i was like no, I'm gonna cry. I guys, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm gonna cry in this song, I swear. <sighs> I'm telling you, vocals. Is this his journey? Oh, I'm gonna cry. This is the best album ever. <laughs> I'm so proud of it. <sighs> or is this a love song? The beginning made me think maybe it's just this journey of like going from Thailand to Korea, but. This can go in three different directions that I have in my head. Yeah, okay. I'm like, is this a fan song? Is this a song to the boys? Is this a love song? Is this like his story? Whoa, the views. It's what he deserves. Sorry, I was like, because I'm wondering which song has the most views, which means like it's probably the most popular song. This probably won't be his most replayed one, but I guarantee everyone was like, I need to know what this song means. He's, oh my god.
I think it's a fan song. Cause you said you made us. I wasn't ready. Were any of us? I, I did not expect this. I, like, I expected a slow song, but... I'm pretty sure it's to the fans. We can't cry yet, we still have Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, love handle. Sorry, every time I hear a guitar do that. Wow, bam bam. Wow. This is the most... I want a vinyl of this. Yeah, is that... <laughs> he did not. Or any of us? Were you guys expect What? Where have you been? Oh, JYP, <laughs> oh, you be petty now, JYP, look who you lost. Not only Young J and JB, and Jin Young, though I, Jin Young hasn't released anything, but, I mean, he will eventually, I guarantee it. And Mark, and, oh, JYP, baby, JYP, I need to hear, see the comments of this one. JYP, you missed out, please. You had no clue. I bet JYP didn't even know. Because he never, he never bothered giving this. You know, like... Oh. I just want to see the comments. I'm very curious about the comments. And I had to refresh it to see the comments. Oh, JYP. Ha ha ha, bitch. Um... I can't. That was amazing. Oh, my prediction was that Yugian would probably be my favorite album of, out of all the members. Um, like if any of them, like if Mark, Jin Young, JB, Young J, you know, if everyone released something. I mean, Jackson already released an album. Like, what was it? Was it last year or the year before? I do not remember. I think it was 2019 actually. Was it? <sighs> Years are blurring. Um, but he has this whole album. He's, I think he has a song for Shanghai. Is that the name of the movie? I don't remember. I was watching Cruella and I was like, that trailer came on for like a Marvel movie about like, I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it looked cool though. Uh, and I was like, is this Jackson? And then I heard that little rasp and I was like, ooh, there's no way this isn't Jackson. And then I saw on Twitter people talking about it and I'm like, Jackson, I'm so proud of you. What the heck? Is this Bam Bam about to fight me for doubting him? Regardless, I predicted Yu Gi Oh would be my favorite album because I felt like I, part of me, like, because I know Bam Bam was a good singer, but he always was shy about it. So part of me wondered if he just didn't know his potential, you know what I mean? But I think he was shy. And then after he got confident, I felt, I feel like I could be wrong. Maybe I just hate JYP. I felt like they were limiting him. And so I just didn't think I would love the album as much as I did. But that might be one of my favorite albums this year. Like 
no skips bam bam no skips even got seven as a group have skips to me like i have skips for got seven a lot uh not so much on the recent album but like in the middle stage i really don't care too much for the flight lock series um which bam bam participated on so i that's why i was like i don't know where he's going with this um but i think his also his styles changed literally just like his music style i feel like he, he got some in general their styles changed so i guess it makes sense i feel like after present you they changed a lot um but anyways you Kim, i predicted he would be my favorite album but uh, now we have competition you Kim. okay let's see I have to do 17 album after this, so I'm like, I have to hurry. We spent too much time on Bam Bam. We have, I think, six songs. One, two, three, four, six. Okay, this is what I predicted for you again. I'm just assuming they helped produce and write some of this. Maybe not all of it, but. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of sex songs on this. <laughs> Yugam's a little bit of a naughty boy. Not this song, just I feel like we're gonna get at least one. This is like, I think JB and Yu Yum are gonna do this type of style. And I think like Young J and Jin Young might do like some more ballad y stuff, maybe with some mixture, maybe like some other sounds, but. And then Jackson, you know, do his Jackson stuff. Who knows what Jackson does, you know, he does everything. Uh, Mark is a mixed bag. Yugiam has an advantage for me because I just read like his voice anyways. <laughs> so everything kind of sounds good when he sings it. I can picture him in the booth singing this. Okay. Du -du -du. I like that song. Oh, don't, don't, I love, okay. I love his flow here. The dun, 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 dun. As the second chorus hits, I actually, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I like this more than, what was it called? Where are you at? Where, where are you around? Where are you around? The title track. Um, well, was it the title track? I think All Your Fall is actually the title track. Which one's the title track? The song that was already released. Um, I thought maybe I liked that song more, but it might be tied as the second chorus hits. Cause the first one I was like, okay, we're chilling, but it kind of hit harder this time. Running through the rain. I like the way he sings it. Hmm. Are these gonna be chill bobs? Why do I feel like Yugi might rap on a song? Maybe that's just what I want. Okay, I was like, did he just rap? But no. I was like, he just listened to me. This song does feel a little more repetitive than the, even the title track, or at least not as catchy so it's a pretty long song i think that's what it is i think it could have been 20 seconds shorter but i am just sitting and watching it so it's a little different maybe it's just it could have been three minutes 20 seconds like something around that but who knows, it might be better without sitting and watching. It's a, it's a thick song. 
long songs, especially for a solo artist, can be a little less. Uh, it, you can't. I don't feel like you can't get away with much with having a long song if you're one person. Because you know when you're in a group, it's different sounds and stuff. Okay, Mark tweeted. Also, dang, people spoiled. He smokes in this. I don't care but I, it kind of bothers me when people say like oh it's so hot i'm like no don't don't endorse bad habits i don't care if you smoke but to for fans to be especially i, I they have to be young fans there's no way a, like i'm 22 there's no way a 22 year old is out here like that's so sexy i'm smoking sexy Please tell me you're not twice, you're not like 20 or older saying that. Like, please don't, don't do that. <laughs> um, he can do it. It's fine. He's a grown man. But I, I don't like when people say it's hot. I feel like you don't say that about, well, maybe people say that about drinking. I don't know. But it's a, it's like, mm, I don't know, whatever. To say it's hot feels like you're not only in endorsing smoking cigarettes but you're also it's almost like you're per, not persuading but like making other people think oh i want to look hot too let me smoke a cigarette and kill myself like i don't know especially because a lot of fans are young but mark tweeted something about this oh shoot He was like, oh, my bad, or something. Because it says, all oh, your fault. He, he was making a joke about it. Mark's been so supportive with his baby. See, clearly he's not in good shape here. So him smoking not hot. You, yeah. You're going to make me more tricky every day. Oh no. Why? What's with Yu Yu and Jungkook getting in fights with people? That was a cool transition. Did Jackson direct this? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, this video. Oh, your name's Gray. Oh, those cars are cool. Oh, this video. I like Gray's voice. It suits. Yugim's high pitched voice. This video is really artistic and cool. I like the transitions and just how fast paced it is, like when it was cutting between all the shots. Plural shots. Oh my god. This story is cool. Is it a metaphor or did he? is he really out here doing all this? Or is it like. He's, or is it like a representation of the relationship, you know, like, um, you know, or is he like literally like, this is your fault, I got, I went crazy and started killing people. Oh, there's female, there's female. Oh, he hit her. Oh. Oh. Was he imagining it? Was he thinking that while watching her? I want to know if this, I feel like this literally happened, but it could be like a metaphor. See how fast paced that is? This is, this deserves more views, but like I said, Yugim's going to be the underrated one, but it's okay. I got him. This 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 has to be one of my favorite music videos. 
Wow, that video. What's up with the good videos? We got 17, One Wii, Yu Gi Oh! I'm loving these videos. Wow. See, this one is the length running through the range should be because that one's repetitive too this one but i i liked it more local i don't know who local is i mean sam but i i never heard of him oh he has a song with jay park probably not the best time to do this you know <laughs> But he didn't know when recording that this was all gonna go down, so we'll forgive. Also, Jay Park is sadly talented. <laughs> I predicted this song to sound this way because it's named Local, but I didn't want to assume. <laughs> see, see, the difference here is I'm not surprised of Yu Gi style because I already predicted he was going to do this and I already knew I would like it so I feel like my reactions to his music is less enthusiastic because I predicted it and already like it like I already know I'm going to like it while with Bam Bam it was just like shockingly good not because of any presumption of his talents so just I wasn't expecting it so I don't I, I'm vibing but it's less enthusiastic because I already knew I'd probably like it <laughs> I love his way he does his ways. I like the do do I like the instrumental of this song the best so far. I think because it's the most different so far. It's all about you, girl. You can't deny SpongeBob. We're getting these these vibes here with the boys who cry. Loco, I'm gonna have to lift you up. Like, I like his voice, and it suits you games. Oh, I was hoping he would do that. Like, go down like that. I think I like how relaxed his voice sounds. Like, how relaxed, like. He's like drawing his words a bit more. Like he's not putting as much effort, but it's purpose. It's on purpose. Mm. Oh, I, I love when artists do that. I can't wait to listen to the album again. This might be my favorite, I don't know. Right now this might be my favorite. It seems it has like a bit more of a fun vibe too. Like it's still not like a pop fun song, but it it has a bit more to it to where it feels a little less dark i guess a little more bright but like still chill chill vibes we stand this one yes it's it, it puts you in the mood and i liked his rap local rap okay all right i actually don't know much about jay park <laughs> uh i've only heard a few songs and i like them so 
cannot deny this. And like I said, this was definitely recorded before his ignorance. The thing is, I know more about J Park's controversies than his music, and I kind of try to give him a little benefit of the doubt. But he he doesn't help himself. He doesn't, and I think that's the issue. Is like, okay, at this point, every idol sadly done like the stuff he's done. But he, unlike other idols, he keeps doing it, <laughs> and I think that's where I kind of give up on him. Even though I never really stand him anyway. So, but ah. Uh, Okay, whatever. This is about music. Oh, it's giving me like... What's that song? Was it on... Not By The Moon? Was that album? It's give, this is giving me the most Scott Summer vibes. I don't know who Punch Nello is. Weird name. I feel like it's like doom, 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 doom. Like it's gonna be like a heavy Oh Is this a sex song? There has to be one, it's you again <laughs> I like how he's like making his voice a little more nasally This is J Park. So it sounds. Like I said, I don't really know his voice that much. All right. Oh, I like the one. I live like his little voice crack. J Park is what I feel like you he must sound like when if he rapped. Like he could have done that part actually. Like J Park had more like experienced flow, but like I feel like Yuki could have done it. I'm not saying J Park shouldn't be here though. <laughs> This is very westernized. Like I feel like this could have been released in like 2007 in America. That being said, probably not my favorite. It has nothing to do with the collaboration. I actually thought their verses were actually pretty good. It was just it was a chill song. I was really short. Oh, it felt kind of long. Um, hmm. Not my favorite. No, like, I thought, I thought, um, no, like, I, I, I said he could have done it. good i mean i wouldn't skip it it's still going in a playlist um not my favorite though probably my least favorite track from all the songs we heard in this video this has to be a ballad baby i want you to do a ballad he probably won't he probably won't it wouldn't really suit the album but i'm lost to hope is that like the jyp thing like is that the company's little what's the what's it even saying Oh. 
Oh iya ya Oke okay. Oh I love his outfit by the way here Oh I thought it was like Doom. There we go I was just a little early Oh. oh, this is it. This is the song. You know, like this is. I want Big Hand and Yugi to have a collab. No one can survive. This is the jam. This is it. Okay. Let me know your favorite. And is this it? Do we have the same favorites? I thought you were saying baby girl. And I was like, oh, you know you're going to kill people with that. You can't. I love how breathy it is. I can feel like he's probably all up on the mic. Not ready. This is this is really good, guys. Oh, I was hoping we'd get more. We got the libs. This is such a vibey album. No, like, do you not get bacon influence here? Like, I don't know what influence necessarily, but like, I could see them collabing. And I would probably die. I really. Oh, this one's definitely my favorite. Oh, that made me feel things. I fell in love <laughs> oof hey I need to see this was so good and it was really cute when you fall I mean it's basically the same title okay I like this picture This might be fun. Never mind, the lyrics look kind of sad. Oh, that's why I felt like we were gonna get something a little fun here. Oh. Is this the chorus? He keeps talking about like holding hands and stuff and like never letting someone go. Oh, nine of crimes. Is this his uh, under the sky? Oh. Oh man. Yugbam, is that how you pronounce their ship name? Yugbam? Because Yugbam, Bam Bam, Yugbam. Putting me in my feels. Plot twist, Yugi and Bam Bam are in love and under the sky and when you fall are just songs for each other. <laughs> just kidding. I actually don't really ship them romantically. I feel like they're best friends. Like that kind of ship. When you're like, aw, I want that. Wow, okay, so Bam Bam's made me want to like pour out tears of like emotion. Wow, Yugi's just makes me want to smile as my chest feels like very nostalgic and like tight and just like, oh, I'm soft. And that's the difference. 
Like this is one where you'd be like this at the concert. While like under the sky is like <laughs> that that's a difference. Like I don't think under the sky would be like a encore song. To be fair though, Under the Sky was like a ballad and this is more like a uh, indie acoustic like strip back, I don't know what to call this song, but it's, it's like almost a ballad but like not really. This one, oh is this one my favorite? I don't know. This is like a very comforting song. Top three at the very least. Maybe favorite. But I like these type of songs. Like some of my favorite songs are called Stand By You, which any freaking group has at this point. <laughs> Specifically I'll say like Ace Stand By You. Ooh. I was hoping Yugen would do more with like like he can do like high notes and stuff, and I was kinda hoping he would but this isn't the style, of, like his album's not the style that would require that. So like maybe in another album. This is clearly meant to be like pops, you know? Oh, okay. So my favorites from Yuyam are Falling in Love, When You Fall, and All About You, and All Your Fault. And then Bam Bam, every song. It just kind of depends on the mood. That's the thing with Bam Bams is some of them would depend on the mood. Yuyams, I'd probably listen to these anytime, but probably not. Like right now in this current time of my life, Looks So Fine by Bam Bams, probably my favorite and I would listen to it the most. And then All Your Fall, I'd probably listen to a lot and like All About You. Like those are the songs I'd probably listen to the most. Um, I love this. Okay. Will you guys let me know your favorites? I I'm so proud. I am so proud. I wish... I don't think artists, like, when you're in a group, you know who, you're, who the most popular member is. So, like, I'm pretty sure, like, the members know Bam Bam and Jackson will probably get the most views and albums and pre-orders and stuff. Um... But I do feel bad in the sense I, I, because it was they were released this around the same time, like literally days apart. I'm like I, I, I don't think Yugim would care. I mean, they are best friends. Like Bam Bam and Yugim are like BFFs, you know. I'm pretty sure they even maybe didn't plan this per se, but like maybe even planned it. I, I don't know. I don't think they did. But um, I, I don't think Yugim would ever be hurt by like Bam Bam being more successful. He does. He is from Thailand, and he has like a whole freaking place like supporting him so it's it's a little different in that way as well but i do just wish yugim had more success obviously it will build um this is establishing his solo career and most artists especially because got seven wasn't necessarily on the level of maybe like exo or like bts like if they release albums they're gonna get like maybe like like, I, I think Bacon had like a million. I don't know. But um, they're going to have more pre orders. Um, also, because they already had established solo careers pretty early on in their careers. Like, even if they weren't releasing albums yet, they had OSTs and lots of key dramas and stuff. So they already had like their solo fans established. Jackson had his established because he was already releasing stuff on his own. Bam Bam is from Thailand. He's just gonna have he's just gonna have an established fan base. Like it's kind of different. Um, and then it's like Yu Yum, like Jin Young. I don't know if he'll get like a lot of. Out I feel like he's probably the third one who would probably get like a lot. Maybe Mark. I feel like it's gonna be Jin Young. Like if Jin Young released an album, he would probably get a decent amount. He'd probably be third. Um, 
But, like, I just want Yukim to and, like, Young J and even, like, JB. I don't know where... Sometimes JB confuses me because I feel like he's really popular, but I, it's hard to tell. Um, but I just wish all... I wish everyone could be equally as famous, you know? Um, I don't think Yugen would be hurt by it. I mean, deep inside, you're gonna be a little more sad, maybe. Like, you're gonna wish for more. But I don't- I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, I loved it. I had get- I got both their albums. Um, let me know your favorites. Let me know how you feel. Which one did you prefer? Not in, like, a fan war way. Which one's more your style? Were you surprised by Bam Bam? Were you surprised by Yugen? Because I don't know if everyone- I think we all kind of figured he would give this style. He already is in the company that, like- has that vibe so you're gonna expect something like this but let me know if you were surprised at all i don't think anyone's surprised by yugen style though um, and i'll see you guys in the next video bye